The Hydro Archon Farina is set to launch in 4.2 of Genshin Impact, and while we have covered this character, including her kits, don't ask me how I know about it though. I think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. And she could have some issues with her kit, but it's not entirely developed yet. It could get buffed, it could get changed. But for more information about that, check out those videos. This video is gonna be about things that are actually gonna get a little bit better with Farina coming into Genshin Impact because she's gonna take this Fontaine mechanic of losing and gaining HP to the next level. Her elemental skill is gonna have two different forms, either a way to heal up your entire party or a way to drain your party's HP in order to boost up the damage that Farina's own elemental skill will do off the field while applying Hydro. And this is gonna make a couple of things quite a bit better. She also has access to buffing up your character's damage with her elemental burst. And while this video is not gonna have a full breakdown on it, her elemental skill does two different things. It's either going to allow you to heal your party or it's going to allow you to drain your party's HP to boost up the damage of Farina's elemental skill. Either way though, this is going to make it pretty easy for you to change the health of anyone in your party at a pretty rapid rate. And this is gonna be one of the first things that's gonna get buffed up in Genshin because Farina just exists is something like the Machu's Hunter set, which is gonna give you normal and charge attack damage plus 15%. And then the four piece has a stacking crit buff where you can get 12% crit rate every time your HP increases or decreases. As of right now, this is sort of a set that is strictly only used on some Fontaine characters. Think of someone like Nivellet, who has the ability to just wear this, hit max stacks of their own accord because their own skill set allows them to hit that 36% crit chance almost indefinitely and always. Farina, though, being in your party and having a party built around her ability to either decrease your HP or increase the HP of anyone in your party allows you to sort of mess around with this Marchus Hunter set on basically any character in Genshin Impact because while her elemental skill is active, which guess what, it's got a 30 second duration in a 20 second cooldown, you can either choose to drain HP or restore HP at a very fast rate in order to keep the max stacks of Hunter set on anyone. So this can be something that you can throw around on any DPS that you don't really have a good four piece for. And the cool thing about this set is that one of the most basic builds for Farina is gonna be using the other set, the Golden Troops set from this domain because Farina's gonna have a lot of her damage, almost entirely at C0 of her damage coming from her elemental skill. And she is a almost entirely off field character. So you're gonna get the max benefits of both the two piece in four piece set from that golden troop. So while you're in there, possibly farming this up for your C0 Farina build, make sure that you are keeping an eye out for some of this hunter st stuff so you can mess around with this in different Farina teams. Even for someone like maybe me, for example, Noel, is this hunter set gonna be best in slot for a Noel build going forward? Probably not. It's going to have to compete with that giant 54% defense, 24% geo damage from her currently best set, but you could get 15% normal and charge attack damage on your Noel and get 36% crit rate, which is a huge stat boost to any character in Genshin. And this is gonna be something that we'll have to take note of as Farina exists, and maybe something that could be utilized for a lot of cool characters that you wanna have fun with, but they don't really have an awesome set, or maybe you don't have their best set for them. And this could be absolutely insane for a lot of characters to play around with in Genshin Impact. And while not as universal as the Hunter set, the artifact set Vrakasha's Glow could also get a little bit of love here. Two piece HP percent increase of 20%. And then the four piece is gonna give you elemental skill in burst damage plus 10% at base. But every time you take damage with this set on, you're gonna be able to buff up the elemental skill and elemental burst bonus damage all the way up to 50% each. And Farina is going to allow you to just make anyone take damage when you want them to take damage. So Vrakasha's Glow could allow you to get 50% skill and 50% burst damage on any character that you want. Even if the HP% percent, 20% from the two-piece set isn't the greatest thing for some characters, this is definitely a set to keep an eye out for to sort of maybe shake up your gameplay because 50% skill and burst damage at the same time can be amazing. We just have to see if there's gonna be some cool characters that wanna use this glow set 
over the Hunter set or vice versa, some of these Farina teams. And it's kind of crazy just how one character existing can make some of these super niche sets that we talked about with artifacts a little bit better on so many different characters. But there's also gonna be another thing that Farina is gonna be able to do, and that's gonna be buffing up characters that already sort of have this Fontaine slash pre-Fontaine mechanic because it's not just gonna make them better, but it's also gonna make Farina a bit better as well because her elemental burst, well, it gives you these things called fanfare stacks during the duration, which you can have 100% uptime on, by the way, and every fanfare stack is gonna increase your entire party's damage by X percent amount. And these fanfare stacks are acquired by decreasing or increasing anyone in your party's health, which Farina can do by herself, but if you pair them with someone else other than Farina, you have the ability to maximize the HP and increase as well as the HP decrease. Someone like Nivellet, for example, is gonna have the ability to work extremely well with Farina's ability to increase and decrease HP and gain damage bonus off of that, because while Farina's already doing that, Nivellet's gonna be doing that to himself as well, allowing them to make a fantastic partners. And this leads us to think about some other characters. Is Free gonna be able to bring someone like Dea back? Is it going to give Dea a little bit of a more of a buff, more of a use as we get more of these Fontaine characters? Because eh, Dea herself doesn't really gain a lot from increasing and decreasing her HP, but she is another character who's going to be taking damage Additionally, on top of the damage that Farina is going to be draining off of your party members with the elemental skill of Farina because of the passive of Dea as well, which is something that we can take advantage of in these sort of teams. There's also gonna be future Fontaine characters. We've already seen characters like Nivellet as well as Linny have the ability to get bonuses for being above certain HP thresholds, below certain HP thresholds, having amount of HP accessible to buff up certain skills or elemental bursts. And we're gonna be seeing this continued into a lot of these future Fontaine characters because it seems to be the main Fontaine gimmick is increasing and decreasing HP, which leaves the thing on the table, the worrisome fact of, is Farina just gonna be getting indirectly buffed the more characters that are released into Genshin, which I think it's going to be a yes, but the reason why it's a weird question is even though it is a yes, we don't really know how much of a buff these future characters that can pair well with her are actually going to be giving you. So if you're not a big fan of Farina, but you're afraid of missing out on some future teams, that could lead you to the question of, should I pull for this character or should I not? And unfortunately, I think the most responsible answer I could give you is probably, but I can't give you any concrete information as to how much increase of a power you're going to get. But I do think it's gonna make future Fontaine characters a little bit better or a little bit more flexible if you have access to Farina and you wanna go mess around with stuff on your account out in the open world or maybe even the Abyss or in Domains or Multiplayer in Genshin Impact. And there's one big thing that kinda gets a little bit better technically with Farina existing because of her fanfare stack elemental burst passive. And one of the biggest and easiest ways for you to do damage yourself outside of artifacts or characters specifically are team compositions. And I'm talking about Bloom as well as Virgin teams. Bloom, it does damage to you every time your characters are in the vicinity of a bloom exploding from those dendro cores. And the same thing with Burgeon, as you're blowing up these dendro cores, you're going to be doing damage to your own act character. While not the most amount of damage, it still is damage that you're doing to your active character, and that will additionally give you fanfare stacks from Farina's elemental burst. So we're looking at characters that can also proc off of this. Characters like Baizu. So in these teams with characters like Baizu, you're gonna be able to be draining your health with Farina, healing your characters with Baizu's passive, doing damage to your own characters with Dendro Cores. And this is gonna be maximizing that fanfare stacks as quickly as humanly possible. You throw someone in there like, I don't know, Nilu for a full big Omega Bloom team. And now you have three characters, Nilu, Farina, and Baizu, who are all helping you do damage to yourself, heal yourself, do damage off the field, apply Hydro, shield yourself off Dendro damage, do damage with cores. You can kind of see how crazy Farina can get conceptually when you're trying to maximize how many fanfare stacks you could get, which I think is somewhere up at 450. You really need to try 
pretty hard to hit max stacks in that 17 to 18, I think it's 18 second window of her elemental burst. And so there's gonna be a ton of really cool things you can utilize with Farina. These are just some of the ones I could think of off the top of my head. Let me know what you think you're gonna be buffing up with your Farina down below. Take care guys and I'll see you at the next one.